we're starting recording. This is take two. Oh, <clears throat> Welcome to another edition of Popcorn Bucket List, this time from a different setting, but still the same great people. Joining me today is Mr. Ryan Meyerberg. Hey. And usually he's up in the control room, but today he's on set with us. <sighs> It's uh, Mr. Mitchell Reby here today. Uh, obviously, we're in a different uh, environment. Obviously, with everything going on, we thought it's safe uh, to do it not from the studio and possibly infect other people. So we don't. We know are how... infected. Yeah, we we're all infected. we're all good. Not yet. We're all good. Unless you got diabetes, but that doesn't. I'm gonna yeah. cut most of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Uh, we are still going to be talking about movies, though. We're still going to be recommending some stuff. Uh, obviously, the rules have changed in this new world, so we're changing with them. Uh, not a lot to talk about as far as the previous month. We kind of suspended the box office yeah. review competition, mainly because half of our movies didn't come didn't out. Come out. Uh, we are going to talk about a couple, though, uh, specifically one that was supposed to come out uh, but didn't. It is now actually coming out on Disney Plus uh, on April 3rd, yep. which is Onward. Uh, we did preview this movie uh, last last episode. Um, didn't get a chance to see it. I did get a chance to see it. I went and saw it before the theaters closed down. Awesome. So definitely have to check it out. I think it's on Disney Plus. Is that where it's being released? Yes, yes. it will be. Check it out. Uh, as far it's as great. the taping of this recording it uh will be out hopefully on disney plus uh yeah go check that movie out on the site if you have it uh another movie that's actually also coming out on uh streaming services is one that was called uh it was a kumail nanjiati uh as well as co-starring is a ray romantic comedy called the lovebirds that one's actually coming out on netflix this one was supposed to be an April release date to begin with, but uh, obviously with everything going on, it uh, uh, they took a little bit of initiative and actually pushed it into a streaming service as well right off the bat here. So uh, for those of you who haven't checked that one out, I'll admit even I didn't have a lot of knowledge about this movie. Yeah. Just checked out the trailer before we recorded here. Looks really funny, though, if you ask me. Yep, and I, like you said, I knew nothing of this movie until you showed me the trailer beforehand, and it was pretty funny. Uh, the beginning of the trailer makes it look like a kind of a serious romantic mm -hmm. movie, and then something happens, and it's it just in, in, in worth insanity, a, insanity ensues. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. It looks good. So that's pretty much all we have as far as previewing the month of April yeah. uh, at this point. So at this point. Because there's really nothing coming out in theaters right now, and the, sadly, and the sadly. movies that are coming out are on streaming services. We're just gonna kind of talk a little bit about uh, what uh, we kind of recommend here for streaming service. Just fun. Yeah. Before before we get to that though, I need to shout out to movie theaters. Um, I hope they are doing all right. I know most of them are closed. Our one in town here is closed, and it's very sad. I used to work there for many years. And now it has never, I've never heard of the theater closing. And it's been closed for a week or two weeks now. And I'm just hoping they can survive and keep on their feet. Just like uh, AMC is having a lot of problems. A lot of theater chains are having no money. So I'm just, we're all in this together, you know. Just imagine. So let's uh, let's just keep moving. Hopefully the theaters come back and I'm ready to get back into the, back into the theater. Let's get back to it. Mitch's song and dance there, for those of you who don't know, is usually why I keep them in the control room. Yeah. So this is this whole episode is going to be interesting. Uh, but And I'm going to regret saying this. Mitch, why don't you start us off? Uh, I know you didn't get as much. We kind of last minute included you on camera this time. But what's a show, movie, anything from a streaming service you recommend? So times? for me, um, uh, I usually find myself going two different options here. Um, the first one being Disney+. Plus. Um, big fan of that. Uh, parents are able to hook me up with that with that streaming service, and then uh, I have found myself Fair watching good. a lot of The Simpsons, like classic, like in the early '90s. I think we're on season. I'm on season six right now for The Simpsons. Woo! So yeah, we're we're kind of <laughs> fine. We're uh, for those of you who know The Simpsons religiously, it's uh, we're on the episode where uh, Burns gets shot, and it's a two-parter. 
And uh, the group I'm watching it with, uh, they're watching the second part tonight, so. I was going to say, you said we, so I assume you were watching with some friends? Yep, uh, we were all, yeah, we all kind of get together and make supper so that we all don't feel so lonely during this time of quarantining. Quarantining? Yeah. Well, very good. Good right. choice. Yeah, yeah, The Simpsons is, is an excellent choice for long term. Mm. How many seasons are they up to now? It's like over 20 at this yeah. point. Yeah. 22, oh, 23. I'm sure it's like 30 or 40. It's like Survivor. Maybe I'm, thinking, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm thinking of South Park. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's South up there. Park, South Park's over 20. Yeah. I Another it, great show to binge if you have the opportunity. What, I, what streaming service would that be on? Uh, I think they got it on their own Comedy Central site. On Comedy yeah. Central. And okay. South Park's on Hulu too. So. That's right. Yep, okay. you're yep. correct on that one. Uh, Ryan, why don't you take us to one of yours? All right, well, I'm just going to get this out of the way right now. Uh, Tiger King. Everybody's been talking about it. Uh, if you're into that weird kind of stuff to, you should definitely check it out. It's, uh, the cast of characters that are in this is just mind blowing. The, the people surround this and I, I would, anybody that watches it, go online and try to find out the, the stuff that was left out of the documentary because that's almost twice as wild. But, uh, I really didn't want to watch this because everybody was talking about it, but I eventually did. And, um, just it's crazy that's all i can say it's crazy so that that's just one of the lists i have a couple more but we'll get back around mm -hmm. so at this in case you haven't noticed this is a very much more laxed show yeah so we're just kind of going around table just especially with this guy here you're gonna make me regret that decision aren't you yeah. all right my okay so the first one that came to my mind, one of the shows that I most look forward to watch right now, is uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's actually in its third season right now. Uh, it takes place in like an old timey New York uh, setting. But uh, I would say probably one of the bigger things I can recommend as far as this show is, uh, you see a lot of, on Netflix and Amazon especially, a lot of comics putting out their comedy specials mm -hmm. and everything like that um this show is like that but it's also kind of scripted in that uh uh basically it's about this woman who just who finds out she has a natural ability to be a great stand-up comic and so the first two seasons especially is showing her journey into learning how to become a stand-up comic uh, it shows the struggles. It shows the successes. Uh, but one of the greater things uh, about this show, I think, is the fact that it shows kind of that behind the scenes of coming up with the routine. Mm -hmm. The first few times she does a routine, it's like off the cuff. She's like distressed. Just going at it. Just going at it. Yep. And it's hilarious. If you watch this show for anything, it's the scenes where she does do stand-up comedy on stage. And they, mm -hmm. she is hilarious. She knocks it out of the park. But then there are moments later on in that first season where she tries to start planning and scripting her jokes and she finds out they're not as good. That's funny. And a lot of stand-up comics will tell you it's not just go up there and start talking. You have to find right... Sometimes it comes down to the right word will make or break a joke. Mm -hmm. And it just shows that process. And they're in their third season now. Uh, I still think it's a really great show. So. Very good. Very good. I like any Amazon Prime shows. Yeah. I feel like they get underrated a lot by the bigger streaming servants services. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mitch, you got any others you want to talk about? So yeah, this one's a little bit different. No one ever really thinks to go to YouTube to catch up on shows. Um, mm, good point. As you two know, I've uh, gotten a lot more into like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm work playing with that with a couple friends. There's actually a really good um, show. It's called Cur Critical Role. Um, it's uh, I'm starting from their first campaign or like their first series, uh, first uh, yeah season, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's there. It's a, it's been like four years ago now. From what I'm watching, their their episode each episode's like four and a half hours long. So oh, wow, it's yeah. it's a haul. <laughs> it's a journey to yeah. get through. It's great stuff. Like the they have a bunch of voice actors that play the characters that they're doing yeah, it with, yeah. and that's um, cool. Matt Mercer is just a great. Great uh, host and dungeon master, and really recommend it if you're into Dungeons and Dragons. If you're not, I mean, you could t check it out anyway. <laughs> but the yeah. main thing here is like YouTube is also a viable option to like catch up on other stuff. Other that, stuff. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to go to your, you don't have to pay for Netflix and 
uh, Hulu and Disney there's, Plus. There's some creators or content creators that put out some yes. funny stuff, serious stuff. You can watch short, like three minute movies on there yeah. that are pretty good. So that that's a very good point. That's yeah. a very good point. I think YouTube's a viable option. That's no one's really looking. That's at. free. That's yeah. and yeah. it's also free. Yep. So yeah. you got to listen to ads, but you know you yeah. get through that. Well, I got a couple for you. Uh, another HBO documentary. Um, called McMillions. It's about the McDonald's oh, I've heard about this monopoly yep. scheme. Absolutely fantastic. If you get the chance, you should look at it. Uh, I watched it on Hulu. We have the little Hulu HBO package thing, so I could still watch Game of Thrones and Westworld. And Westworld Season 3, uh, pretty good so far. Um, but yeah, McMillions, fantastic show. Interesting. And it, it I, I never realized up until the very end, why I didn't remember this. I remembered playing Monopoly, but I don't remember this being a big thing. And it was, it. the ending came out right before September 11th, 2001. So it got covered up by mm -hmm. the tragedy. So mm -hmm. this just kind of went on the back burner, and that's why not a lot of people know about it. Um, another quick one, uh, obviously with uh, HBO, you got Game of Thrones and Westworld. Fantastic shows, great. But uh, uh, kind of a, so a weird one I'm watching right now. I'm only a couple seasons, episodes in, but it's, it's called Devs. And it's the uh, suspense show with um, Nick Offerman from uh, Parks and Rec, where he is not playing a uh, funny guy. He is playing a like uh, Elon Musk-ish character. Very smart, uh, running this corporation and yeah it's super interesting i'm only a couple episodes in it's okay i'm not gonna tell you it's great it's not great to me yet but it's all right from what you've told me before about this show it's it's a little bit more of a thinker it is it is so a little bit more if, of a if you want to kind of exercise the brain muscles yep. get a moment a little bit yep uh so i could talk about quite a few documentaries on various platforms just a few i'll throw out there on hulu there's one i watched last year that i heard about called three identical strangers I'm not even going to say anything about the story on that one because there are about two or three twists or turns that happen at the very beginning that make you think, wow, this is a pretty interesting story to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hard turn towards the middle <laughs> that really makes you question a lot of things. Yeah. This is a doc and that's a documentary on Hulu. Uh, another one uh, that I watched a while ago, I believe is still on Amazon, Central Park 5. I believe that's a Ken Burns documentary. Mm -hmm. He's one yep. of the more famous yep. documentarians. But it's not the long 10-episode miniseries ones that he usually does. So if you want to get a little in touch with Ken Burns, but not spend too much time, unless, of course, we have a lot more time here. If you find some more of those, that's yep. also a suggestion. That's one to do, too. But the main one I'm going to talk about as far as documentaries go is Documentary Now. Oh, this... Yeah, I've uh, heard about this. Now, I'll admit, this one's... A, I was a little late to the party on this one. This one has been out for say, a while. It's been out for a few years. Yeah. Um, this... I believe there's three seasons of it on uh, Netflix right mm. now. Uh, I believe the first two were uh, headed by Bill Hader and Fred Armisen yep. of SNL alum. And, SNL um, gold. SNL, yes. Uh, golden age stars, I would say. Uh, basically... They, each episode is kind of spoofing or parodying or paying homage to, sometimes kind of a combination of all three, of famous documentaries, of famous documentary genres. A lot of times we're talking about specific documentaries. Um, I will say the very first episode isn't the funniest episode, but you can definitely they tell they're... they're they're really adhering to the source material, mm -hmm. and it, it it really is interesting to see Bill Hader and Fred Armisen play off themselves. I would say stick through the first episode, and if the yeah. second episode doesn't have you hooked, then there's no chance. Then drop it. But drop it and run. Then then <laughs> that's fine. It's not for everyone. But if if the second the second episode just for those of you out there is probably one of my favorite ones out there. Okay. Uh, so if the second episode doesn't hook you into it, that's fine. But just do if you watch it, do me a favor, stick through to the second one at least. All right. So that's kind of a couple documentaries I'm talking about. Uh, Mitch, any of this you got a shout out to or? Nah, not really. I that's 
Those episodes eat up a lot of my time. Yeah. I was about to say, yep. Simpsons is a pretty big one. Yeah, that yeah. one counts as many. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's pitched more seasons than anything we've come up with <laughs> yeah, combined, true. I think, so true. far. So, Any other last ones you want to point out there, Ryan? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you haven't, uh, Netflix, if you haven't got the chance, Arrested Development. I think that's on Netflix, right? Yeah. Uh, fantastic show. One of my favorite shows of all time. Very funny. It's not a show you can sit down and... Uh, clean your house while it's playing in the background. You have to sit down and watch it. Um, you will definitely get some laughs, and it's a, uh, it's very good. Um, couple, a couple, two more things, or three more things. Uh, a show called Hundred Humans. I think I'm watching that on Netflix. They just it's like a big experiment show. They have groups of a hundred people, two from every state, I believe, and they just have like, uh, if you think you're the top fifty percent attractive people here, raise your hand and only you know but then like 80 people raise their hand so it's just kind of like a diving into the psyche of people and how they react to stuff super cool uh since i usually have a nice band shirt on i've already worn my metallica one very crazy movie that i'm gonna tell you about it's called lords of chaos you should definitely go check it out it's about the story uh behind mayhem the band um it's wild check that out um there was one more movie that I was going to tell you about. Super funny movie. A hardcore like band. And then there's like zombies. But it's comedy. It's super funny. But um, yeah that's about it. I am I'm excited to watch a couple days from now. I'm going to watch a. I think it's called Platform. And it's about. Uh, have you seen the trailers for this? It's on Netflix. It's a new kind of horror scary movie. It's pretty short. But um, the point is there's a prison. With a bunch of different layers. All the way through. And the top, there's a platform that goes each from the top of the building to the bottom of the building. And on the top of the platform, there's enough food for everybody. But it stays at the top, and then it goes to the next one, and the next one, and the next <clears throat> one. And the point is, you're supposed to save the food for the people below you. You're only supposed to eat your portion. But by the time it gets to the bottom, there's not always food there. So it, uh, it's, it's new to Netflix. I think it just came out a little while ago. And as you can imagine, uh, craziness ensues. Um, it looks really good, and I'm excited to watch it. Other than that, I'm open for suggestions. Leave a comment in the bottom if you like our shows. If you have some suggestions for us, we'd love to see what you guys are out there watching. Let us know. Mm -hmm. I actually, uh, while we we're while you brought up Netflix, I actually thought of a show that you guys should definitely check out. It's um, for a little bit older audiences, so don't don't watch it with your kids. But The Witcher. <laughs> Ooh, very the Witcher. good. Yes, I don't. I I thought I you guys. I can't believe we went how many minutes talking about Netflix and not, and bring, not up bring the bring Witcher. Up. Yeah. Oh, there, was, there was a it day is, on Twitter yeah. you couldn't go without. They uh, so they stopped the filming season two because of the virus. Yeah, you unfortunately. Know, uh, but it is such a good, um, it's such a good series so far. I would recommend it. Um, you know, you don't have the million it's dollar mustache, but it's in the queue. Yeah, <laughs> the mustache I, budget. Yeah. Um, I, For those I've of been, you who don't know, that's a Justice League reference, and I take offense to that. <laughs> that that mustache costs costs Justice League how many thousands of dollars? <laughs> Good. Uh, but actually, if you do want to bring up the mustache, I was going to throw this out as an honorable mm -hmm. mention. I believe on Hulu and Amazon has Mission Impossible Fallout, Ooh. which was actually Ooh. the movie where Henry Cavill has the mustache and that Justice League had to edit out <laughs> yeah. because of reshoots. Yeah. So. Since it's on there my list, go. since you bring it up, yep. it's one of the greatest action movies, yep. I think, of recent time. Yep. Uh, so there I highly go. recommend checking that one out. Uh, the very last one I'm going to bring up that I'm going to talk in depth on, I'm going to go back to Amazon. Amazon's kind of my place. Yep. Everyone's kind of got their number mm -hmm. one streaming. Amazon's always been the place I've been at. Uh, one day I woke up and I saw there was this movie on here that I heard a lot about, never got a chance to see. A lot of people called it one of the better films of 2019. It's called The Farewell. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat, it's not the the funniest movie, not the nicest source material. It's a little depressing when you look at the story, but the way these characters interact with each other is really great. Really good. Um, it's, it does have lighthearted moments, actually, and one of the ways that they get away with that is uh, there's actually one of the bigger rising stars in comedy right now, Aquafina who was in the second Jumanji movie. She yep. has her own network TV show. She has a show, show. on Comedy Central, yep. right? Yep. yep. She's she's really big in comedy right now. She does a great dramatic job in this okay. movie, I think. 
Uh, it is, I wouldn't call it a foreign film per se, but there is a lot of interaction this family has with their elderly uh, Chinese grandma, so there is a lot of subtitles. Yep. But I wouldn't know if I'd call it a foreign film per se, but it is a really great film. Okay. And it is uh, one uh, that's a quick watch. I think it's only about an hour 45 minutes, uh, but a really good film overall. Okay. I was can, really happy to watch that one. Can I got one thing popped in my head while you were talking that. Go, go for it. When you were talking um, comedy that kind of broke off into seriousness, a drama, um, you know, this year it's been 15 years since the Office premiere. Um, so it uh, made me think of Steve Carell in, um, oh, it just escaped my mind, Foxcatcher, oh, uh, right. where he actually was nominated for an Oscar for a dramatic role. I don't believe he won it, but he was uh, nominated in it and um that's a very you know that comedy you're in a comedy and all of a sudden you show up in a drama and as you can see there he is in the middle it doesn't really you can tell it's steve carell but it looks a little different yeah you gotta really uh, look it's definitely worth a watch i i don't know if this is on any of the streaming services but that just popped in my head when you're comparing the comedy to coming into the drama field and getting praise See, for you, it. you said that, and I immediately went over to my search bar and started typing Parasite, because I thought you were going to use this <laughs> oh, the opportunity to talk about Parasite again. Parasite, great movie. <laughs> Need to check it out if you haven't seen it. Watch it, tell me what you think. All right, so those are some of our recommendations. Uh, obviously, we're going to keep trying to put out these episodes every month, uh, trying to recommend movies and everything. We've never been anti-streaming service. It's just been mm -hmm. the point of the show is to get people in the movie theaters, but... Yep. Obviously, that's not the right way it's to hard. do it right now. So, But we still want people to be out there entertained. So uh, we want to thank you for checking us out. We hope you stay safe Wait, out there. one quick thing. Oh, I got I'm, one thing, too. Yeah, interrupt my... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We'll Sorry. just do the outro later. That's fine. Whatever. Um, uh, quick shout out. Um, I and a couple other buddies are working on a podcast. It's called 50 Take It or Leave It. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. Uh, there are also other couple places we're going to be putting it. But, you know. When's your, when's your first episode coming out again? You said you, you were doing it uh, June, maybe? Uh, or was were you... I'm hoping to do sooner, but I think oh, yeah, yeah. June is definitely... If it's not out by June, I will beat myself. <laughs> Jesus. Do you guys have a... Where are you putting it out on, on YouTube? YouTube, you, YouTube, for sure. Do you have a YouTube so channel yet? We will uh, Yes, we also have Patreon if you want to support us on that as well. But We'll, we'll link their YouTube channel in the description box. Yeah. So just check it out. It'll It won't be till about June. Yeah. But hopefully sooner. Keep your eye out on that. Yeah, yeah we were, good, I want, good content. We talk about it's actually good. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was gonna try and bring that up since you were here. Yes, mm -hmm. usually he is in our control room, but he makes his own content as well. We try to help each other out on that, so be sure to look out for that. And what was the thing you popped into your mind? Um, we're talking about movie theaters. Oh, if you have any movies or shows that you want us to check out, they could be great movies or they could be. Ooh. <laughs> maybe so maybe if you movies. hate our picks, you could yeah. send us some yeah. bad if movies. If you don't like us, the don't movies know. we talk about, that's fine. Let us know what you want us, what you guys want us to watch, and we'll we'll sit down and watch them if we have the resources or Netflix, Hulu, whatever. We'll figure it out, and we'll definitely talk about them. So All right. let us know. Let's let's no. closing thoughts. I think we're I just good. Wanted okay. a shout out for we're the good. podcast. All right, cool. Pray for going, the movie going once, going twice. Sold. All right, thank you guys for checking us out. We'll talk to you later, and we'll see you sometime in the movies. And it's going to fade to black here, so... All right. <laughs>